Sean O'Malley surprised a lot of people when he announced that he was going to be fighting Piotr Jan at UFC 280 in Abu Dhabi. It is, after all, a seemingly big jump for a guy like Sugar Show, given the only true notable name he's fought in his UFC career is Cheeto Vera. But I think most UFC fans are on the same page when they say that Piotr Jan is a massive step up for Sean O'Malley, and it's by far going to be his toughest fight to date. However, I've thought about this one for a long time now. I've played out a bunch of scenarios in my head, and you guys are absolutely going to hate this take. You're going to call me a casual. You're going to say, I don't actually watch MMA, yada, yada, yada. I've heard all of it, but I'm actually going to go ahead and make my prediction right now. I think Sean O'Malley beats Piotr Jan at UFC 280. Here's why. Reason number one, Sean O'Malley presents a challenge to Piotr Jan that Jan has never had to deal with before. The obvious reason is Sean O'Malley's height. I know Piotr Jan is probably about as good of a boxer as they come in the UFC. He may even be the best boxer in the UFC as far as I'm concerned, but He's never fought anyone with the height, reach, and hand speed of Sean O'Malley. Now, I'm not saying O'Malley's just going to be able to walk down Jan and have his way with him the entire fight, because I actually don't think he necessarily will be able to. But because Jan has never dealt with someone who has this type of reach, I definitely think O'Malley is at a major advantage on the feet. Additionally, the biggest knock against Sean O'Malley, and I always hear this, it's that he hasn't fought anyone. Number one, I don't think that's fair to say, because he has fought Cheeto Vera, and I think Cheeto Vera is one of the more underrated fighters in the entire UFC. But reason number two, who is Peter Jan's biggest win? In my opinion, his biggest wins are Aldo and Sandhagen, one of which is well past his prime. The other is kind of in that perennial number one contender in the division. If you're going to dish out that argument to Sean O'Malley, I think it's fair to put it against Piotr Jan as well. Reason number two, and this is a big one in my opinion, pressure in fighting is a very big deal. And if you're Sean O'Malley, you have to be well aware that all the pressure in the fight is on Piotr Jan. Jan is coming off one of the biggest upsets of the year when he lost to Aljo. It was only the second, technically third, loss of his career. And it's a fight a lot of people thought Jan had zero chance of losing. Now, I don't want to make it seem like Aljo revealed the recipe to beat Piotr Jan because Aljo is a very unique fighter and he fights with a very funky style, hence his nickname. And so if O'Malley is to go in there and beat Jan, it won't look anything like what Aljo was able to do to him. But my point about bringing up Aljo is that he showed that Jan is beatable. Before that fight, Jan hadn't even looked like he was tested in the UFC. We keep talking about how much this is a big step up for Sean, and it is, don't get me wrong. But let's not lose sight of the fact that this is also potentially the biggest fight of Piotr Jan's career. And I know you say he already fought for the title. He's won the title. How could this be the biggest fight? Well, if he loses this fight, he goes from about a year ago being in the conversation for pound for pound best and now losing two massive upsets in a row. Reason number three, you guys can hate on me for this one, but Sean O'Malley is just that guy. This is less of a reason, kind of just my opinion on Sean O'Malley as a fighter and as a person, but he's got the confidence, he's got the hand speed, and most importantly, he has the knockout power. If Sean fights free and loose in this fight where he can keep Jan at a distance, I absolutely think he can win this bout. He'll likely be a huge underdog, and he should be, because Piotr Jan, honestly, is just that good of a fighter. But I'm rolling with the Sugar Show in this one, and I can't wait to watch this all go down. All right, that's it for me. As always, if you experts think I got something wrong, go ahead and tell me in the comment. Flame me, expose me, tell me I'm a casual. Do what you have to do to tell me that you're right and I'm wrong. But on the other hand, if you are kind enough to think I did get something right in this video, go ahead, hit that subscribe button. It would mean a lot to me. Until then, be good, friends.